beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for our neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty woods, a neighborly day for beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in this neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day since we're together. We might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't, won't you be my, my neighbor? Hello, television neighbors. Welcome back t to this television neighborhood. I have two things I like to show you. The second season of Two and a Half Men and Sinbad the First Kid. Well, television neighbors, this is a special d day. Be be because we we're invited to go see a terrific performance at the neighborhood magic theater and i have a friend that is uh doing all kinds of wonderful things for children. So I thought I would give them a call. In fact, let me do that right now. His name is Barry o. o. Morton. So let's so let's give him a call. Uh is is this uh Barry? This is Mr. O. Morton, yes. Who's this? Um, this is, uh, v Victor Sprinkle from Victor Sprinkle's n neighborhood. Oh, this is a trick, isn't it? No, it's not a trick. This is really Victor Sprinkle from the world-famous Victor Sprinkle's neighborhood? It, it is indeed, sir. Wow. To what do I owe this honor? Well... My television neighbors and I were wondering if we could come and visit your visit you at your magic magic theater production. Well, of course, come right over. I'm just sitting here waiting for somebody to come in to take a peek at my magic. Oh, all right. Well, come along. Let's go visit Barry O. o Morton at his mu at his magic theater. Come along, Bear Barry. Wow, Victor Sprinkle! What an honor it is to meet you. I'm a big fan of your show. I am too. I like to introduce you to my television friend, Mr. O. Oh, more, more. Oh, we're on television? This isn't just a social visit? Yep, this is my television program. I'm going to be on your program? Yes. I'll become famous. Hello, television neighbors. Oh, wow, what a day this is going to be. So, when, when did you start doing m magic? Well, it was the first time my dad yelled at me for getting into mischief. I blamed it on my sister. That was uh, my first magic trick. And, um... It didn't work. I, didn't work. I heard at the age of ten, your, your father, uh, uh, Frank, oh... Oh, Morn, rest his soul, uh, taught you everything you need to know about magic. Well, my father, Frank, 
was the Frank of Frank O. Morton, world's most famous magician. Yes, that was my father. And he did teach me everything that he knew. Now, me, me and my television neighbors... And you mean your television neighbors and I? Right, my yeah. television neighbors proper and... Proper grammar, proper and, grammar. And I would like to see some of your magic tricks. Oh, well, I'm not sure if I can do that. You see, I'm reading right now this famous book, Card Trickery. And I'm trying to master some of the card tricks that I have not yet learned. So, um, this isn't really a good time for me to show you any of my magic tricks. However, since you asked so nicely, I will show you one magic trick. And that is how I can make my thumb... Yes. Disappear. Okay. You ready? Yes. One, two, three. Wow, that is really... They're both gone. That is really impressive. Want me to see, want to see them come back again? Sure. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, hocus pocus. They're back. Wow. How about that, fellow virgin neighbors? You are talented, thank Mr. You. O. Morton. Yes, I know that, but thank you very much for telling your television audience, just in case they missed it. Now, there's one one thing I'm curious be, before we go. Um, this is another magic trick, making a book binding into a telescope. Do you see my eye? I see yes. your eye. Yes. Amazing. I, yes, I can see your eye. Uh, so, so there's one thing I'm curious about be, be, before I head back to my television neighborhood. Okay. Um, when you started, I'm sure you and your father had a lot of different feelings about magic, like when you were sad or happy or angry. Did he teach? you ways to feel not so angry or not so sad or not so happy? Well, the truth of the matter is, Victor, that when you're doing magic tricks, you don't do them by yourself. And usually when you're sad or angry, you're by yourself or you're with someone you don't want to do a magic trick for. So, he never had to teach me how to do sad magic tricks or happy magic tricks because anytime you're doing a magic trick for an audience, even if it's only one person, it is a happy, happy time. Well, well i got to get back to my television. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. I'm glad I got my thumb back to shake your hand. Goodbye, Victor. Now let's have some some make believe. All right. L last time in the neighborhood of make believe, we were pretending that Lady Elaine Fairchild um got g got confused because she was making Queen Sarah and. King Friday dis disappear. Let let let's pretend that our our friend and ma ma magician Sam Sam O O Henry is go going to talk t to Queen Sarah and King Friday about how Lady Elaine Fairchild had made them both disappear. Well, well let's think, think about those things. As we pretend that we're on our way 
to the neighborhood of make-believe. Ready, Trolley? Okay. I didn't do it! I know you didn't do it, Sam. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was in trouble with the king. It was Lady Elaine Fairchild oh, who thank was goodness respons you knew. responsible for us disappearing. I didn't want to rat her out. Oh, no! Hello, Lady Fairchild. I was not going to rat you out. The king already knew. Actually, actually, dear, this is Queen Sarah. Oh. Oh. Well, you know, you queens and ladies all look alike to me. I don't Hel see very well. I, I have Hel visual problems. He hello. Hello, dear. Hello. Hello, queen. Hmm. I... I understand that Lady Elaine Fairchild made the boat both of us disappear, dear. Well, you only heard that from King Friday, not from my lips. I'd never rat out Lady Elaine Fairchild. Oh, no, 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 I would not. He hello, Tuss. I am L Lady Elaine Fairchild. Fair child. Oh, Lady Elaine, I like what you've done with your hair. Oh, yeah, it's pink. Beautiful. I think yeah. we're running out of time. We'd better speed this up. Um, well, well, we'll have to make believe more about that make believe place tomorrow. Oh, th there's an. There's another call. Let's let's see who that is. Oh, it's Zachary Harris. Hel hello, Zach. Hello, Vic. I'm running out the door. I gotta go. We better have to talk tomorrow. Uh, all right. Well, ha ha. I'm, cheerio. You you know it gives me such a good good feeling to be able to share magic with the people you love. That's how we all can grow. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy New day. It's such a good feeling. A very good feeling. The feeling you know that I'll be back when the, the week is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will too.